Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and today in this unboxing we're going to take a look at the ASRock H170 Performance Series from their Fatality Gaming Oriented Motherboards. So let's take a quick look at the box itself. So in front you can see like there's some kind of a shadow of Fatality himself and also some feature highlights and on the back itself is just more marketing with the picture of the motherboard itself and also more features being written here so yeah let's take a closer look so out of the box you can see that the accessories are on top as opposed to the previous MSI motherboards that, I, that I've unboxed. So let's take a look at the accessories first. Which here is the IO plate. And right away, I do not like this as much as the MSI boards. As this is the typical silver IO plate instead of the black at, blacked out one that MSI usually provides. And then you get two SATA cables, uh, one right angle, one straight. This is just a warranty paper and and that's just my papers and I guess you got a screw for some reason. I'm not sure what's that for. And you can you get an XSplit game caster. Uh free trial thing. Free let me see that. Free three month premium license. Yeah. That's nice I guess. Uh, and then you get your software setup guide which is only in English now and you get a brochure for their products and lastly you get a quick install guide with the drivers inside which you shouldn't use and just download off the website like usual and onto the motherboard itself this is a huge motherboard compared to the previous ones I've unboxed as this one is ATX as compared to MATX as the previous board. And yeah, let's take a look. So oh Astro used some foam in the back, so that's kinda nice. Yeah, I mean man, I think this is a good looking board. Those red accents on the heat sinks. RAM slots and PCIe slots and the chipset cooler. This looks really nice on this board. It's not overdone, but it's it's perfect. I say, especially the back IO panel cover here. It looks really good. And I think more manufacturers should start using this because I mean, even my Maximus board doesn't even have this. Uh, but it is a Z97 board, so it's a previous gen. But yeah, I think more boards should have stuff like this. And let's take a look around the board. Over here, you can see the VRM arrangement, which is pretty overkill if you ask me, because this is just a H170 board, not a Z170. So you cannot overclock on this, but I have a feeling that some of their Z170 boards are exactly the same, just a different chipset. So I guess that's why they went this route, and I guess it looks badass too and yeah i guess a lot of people like this so it sells well i guess and so th there's these massive heat sinks and right over here is the 8 pin power connector for the cpu and the socket itself which is lga 1151 skylake 6 gen socket and for the ram slots it's a single slide single sided slot so you just open this side and pop it in over here is the 24 pin and some SATA connectors, two of them, USB 3 front panel and there's a SATA Express which is basically a dead interface by now but just four more SATA ports and there's uh, two USB 2 ports and also the audio port I guess is here so for the PCIe slot, Azure uses what they call flex PCIe which is basically just open-ended PCIe PCIe connectors, so you can use a longer. So sorry about that. 
So for the slot itself, since this is just an H170 board, this one is wired X16 3.0 to the CPU. Well, this is just X4 3.0 to the chipset. So you can, you can actually do crossfire, and I think that's why they put this 4-pin Molex to supply extra power for crossfire configuration, but you can't do this for SLI, which kind of sucks. But yeah, you can do this for crossfire, actually. On the I.O. port, you get two USB 2.0, a combined PS2 port, a DVI port, HDMI, a lot of USB 3 ports, and also USB C port, an Intel NIC Ethernet port, and a digital audio port, and also some audio in and outs. So for the board itself, it looks kind of nice. It's kind of a glossy finish. It's just black. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Owen here from OTEC. And today we're going to unbox the PowerColor Radeon RX 480 Red Devil. So this is one of the custom 480s out there, and this is one of the first ones. And one of the first ones to reach the media, but I only got that now, and this is actually my personal card. So let's take a look at the box itself first.